Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at a normal approximation of a binomial distribution. Now, there's one key aspect of this that I'm going to come to shortly. It's how to factor in the continuity corrections because there is a bit of a process to it. And in my previous video I didn't cover it in the same detail, just more so for the sake of brevity. Okay, so in a large portfolio, 65% of the policies have been enforced for more than five years. An investigation considers a random sample of 500 policies from the portfolio. Okay, consider an approximate value for the probability that fewer than 300 of the policies have been enforced for more than five years. Now, so just actually, let's just pick up on a couple of key details here. So 65% and 500, that is N and P, which suggests N, uh, the sample size, and P, the number of successes, that suggests the binomial distribution, okay? But these, sorry, that's P there. So the thing about it is that those numbers are actually quite large to do by hand. So what you would do there is you would use the normal approximation, which is what it suggests you to do in the question there, use an approximate value. Okay, now just as a remark, n and p and the variance will, uh, will actually, n times p the binomial mean and the, bi and the variance will both work out to be larger than 5. So the normal approximation will hold here. So this is, the, this is x, the, the number of, of policies in force for more than 5 years. That's a binomial random variable with mean 500 sorry n sample size 500 and p 0 0.65 so when we using a no, using a normal approximation for that the binomial mean will give us a, a an equivalent normal mean of 325 and a variance of 10.665 squared now i sort of dealt with how to get those numbers more so in the last video so i'm not going to spend that much more time on it in this case now the question asks us fewer than 300, okay? So that's important there, okay? Fewer than 300. Not 300 or less, fewer than 300. That's quite important with these questions here because this is how we bring in our continuity corrections here. So where we have the binomial over here and we want to use the normal over here, what, what, how do we uh, factor in are continuity corrections. So the continuity corrections are these little offsets of plus or minus 0 0.5, okay? Now, but depending on which, what we're specifically asked, we'll do it in different ways uh, in each question, okay? So normally it wouldn't matter too much, really. I'll sort of focus on, well, it would matter a bit now, but I'll focus on these two here. So. This is why reading the question comes becomes very important. Okay, so if x the number of in a uh, number of policies in force for more than five years is less than or equal to three hundred, we add an offset of plus five. Okay, but that's not what we're asked. We're actually less than, strictly less than. Okay, so we use this case here. So it's minus zero point five. Okay, and for some of the other cases there, for example, this would refer to greater than, we would work the same way. Okay. Uh, also, so essentially, like it's a, it's a, we have five items on this table here. Okay. So it is very important to actually have a clear idea about what to do in each case. So the five possible cases there. Okay. So in this case, what we're going to do here is we are going to use this one because it is strictly less than okay so that that's that's really the point of this sorry i'll just go back up here this is the particularly important point that i'm going to address in this video this table here okay so that you do really need to have a proper sense of what to do there okay because i didn't really do it in the last video partly just for the sake of brevity but now i i'm dealing with it more so in this video so anyway it becomes a very straight, straightforward question then. So essentially, the probability of x less than 300 becomes the probability of x less than 299.5 when we are looking at it from the point of view of the, the normal distribution. Okay, 
So we subtract 0 0.5. Now, uh, using the normal distribution, we found the normal mean and the normal uh, standard deviation to be 325 and 10.665. Now, I sort of skipped over that in this video just for the sake of brevity. Uh, I, I dealt with it more in my previous video there. But essentially what we're doing is totting up, we're just calculating a z-score essentially, okay? So what we are going to do here is calculate the z-score. The z-score works out to be minus 2.39, okay? And when we work that out with the tables, essentially what we should get is uh, 1 minus 0 0.99158. Essentially what we should get here is an answer of 0 0.0084. Okay, so that is essentially what we approximate our probability of less than 300 policies to be in force. Less than 1%, about 0.8%. Okay. Uh, this is just the normal distribution here, z-scores and stuff like that. Uh, I won't really deal with it in this video, partly just because we're already in six minutes. But again, just to sort of highlight that this was, this here was the key part of the video that we are looking at there, how to do those. So I'll actually just rub it out there just to sort of, so you can take a sort of pause the video and make a note, make your notes. Okay, so we'll leave it there. That is the binomial distribution uh, approximated by the normal distribution, part two.